Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains Landscaping Department. So today we're going to do a freeform deck. We're here at an RV site. Um, people own the property. You know, they come down in the winter, and they've got a lot of things done here. But they'd like to have an area to make a shower. And if you can see over here, they've had a deck that they had laying out here and a garden hose to take the shower, but a little bit more private and a little bit nice. First thing we did was we came out with the chainsaw, we cleared out this area around the pine and the oak tree. We cleared out the area around the pine and the oak tree. And you can see the palmettos, how we've tried to shape them up so they look pretty good. Next, we took the chainsaw and we went ahead and cut down some more of the palms that are in the way, the palmettos. You can see some of the debris here. So I'm gonna rake this up clean this area up. We'll start by bringing the deck right off of the porch, off the pole barn, come back, go both directions, and eventually we'll go all the way around this tree. We're going to set their shower area up here so it's off the ground, bring the water over, and it'll be all set. So let's get started. So to help keep costs down, we're using recycled material. We've, they've got a lot of two by six and some older two by fours. Uh, we're going to use their material until it runs out and then of course we'll have to use new new decking and things like that. But pretty straightforward. This is a what we call a free form deck. In other words, there's no real plan here. Um, we just know what they want and we know how to achieve that. <laughs> and I'm going to show you some simple tricks, easy ways to build a deck that'll last for years and years to come. So over here where we're going to connect to their porch, you can see we've got to take out some screws that have had held up an old walkway they had here and um, being careful of their plumbing you can see they've got their filter they've got their water coming into the RV here and um, we want to make sure we keep that all intact but basically we're going to run these two by six by eights out to here and then there's going to be a landing out here and the deck's going to go back over this direction and back here behind the RV is where we're going to put you know, here behind the RV is where we'll actually make the shower stall and make it a little bit more private. Eventually they want to go, you know, out around this mound and around behind the trees. So it's like a circular deck that comes all the way around to this area. So Should look pretty we're cool. We're going to go ahead and sink our first post. And from that post, we will square and level everything. So this post is very important and it's already hitting some roots here from the pine and the palmetto, but you just got to get through it. Hopefully we can, or else we need to move it over. That's pretty solid, whatever it is. Probably going to have to get the shovel. <laughs> Sticking into it. it. Means we're cutting it. So if you hit a tree root down there, you can take your shovel and cut right through it for the most part. There we go. And you can see I already cut one of them out, good sized roots, but the shovel cuts right through this stuff. Make sure your hole's clean and wide enough that you can use your post hole diggers again. So let's go ahead and try these post hole diggers again. Oh yeah, nice. They can cut roots too. Ideally, we want it to be down about two and a half feet. We don't need any concrete. We're just going to set the post and let the sand hold everything in place. Remember, things don't freeze here. So, freeze is not an issue. A good set of post hole diggers makes this quick work. Nice. We should be down there. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. So for the post, what I did was I took some of their old pressure treated 2x4s, I nailed them together, two of them, and put screws through them. So now we've got a really strong 4x4. Remember, this is all pressure treated lumber. Let's go ahead and set that down in there. Nice. Now 
we'll go ahead and level this off with our level, cover it up, and then we're going to cut that to the height that we want so we can set those, those rails. So what I did was that they had some old pressure treated 2x4s, so I went ahead and screwed those together and nailed them tight. So now we have a nice 4x4. Four four. Remember that this post is the most important post. It's our first one. We're going to level that, you know, square it. And from this post, everything gets squared. So we need to make sure this one's really nice and secure. So from the deck, we're going to put our decking on there. The decking is one inch thick. We'll make it an inch and a half so it's a little step down. And that's going to be the top of our 2x6. So we're going to go ahead and set a scrap piece of lumber in here. And then we'll make a measurement here where we want to be, right there. We want that to be on that line. Let's double check that. Perfect. So again, we want to double check, nice and secure. Everything's looking good. Pull it over until you get the right spot. Looking real level right here. Okay, now we're going to take our first joist. Remember, it's nothing's tacked in yet, nothing's tight, it's just tacked. We want to bring this up and we want to find the level here. Looking really good. That looks nice. We'll give it a little bit of a tilt downhill so water runs off of it. Let's make a mark. And this is where we're going to tack everything together, right here. We're using 3 8 inch uh, ledger locks. These act the same as a, a, a bolt that goes completely through. Again, I'm just going to put one in here. We're going to double check everything and make sure it's all still perfect. Yep, we got just a little fall downhill this direction. Real good. Real good. Everything looks good. So we've got our first post installed. You can see how it runs back over to the RV deck. Let's go ahead and tighten up that joist hanger.
Okay, so here we are. We've got our framing done. We're going to go ahead and use 2 by 6 by 12 for our decking. And you can see how the frame lays out. We got it on 24 inch center since we're using such big wood on the deck. It'll be fine. No squeaks, no movement. Perfect deck. Again, this is a free form deck. So we're just building this as we go and use a lot of scrap material here. And we're also using some new lumber as well. Putting our finishing uh, top on here, two by sixes, two by six by twelves for the long part, and then we'll cut these to length right down in here. And you know, this is a really solid deck, came out really well, real pleased with what we came up with. Um, over here is going to be a seating area, so that's why we left these posts a little bit high. We'll cut those back. And basically they're going to have you know, their shower come in from this angle right here. And then we'll continue this deck on out over that hill and around all the way around these, this little section of palm tree to make that a natural area, although they have lots of natural area. <laughs> So we've got, you know, our deck, the, we've got our deck down <laughs> and it's nice and solid. I mean, it is really nice and solid. I really like it. So we'll finish this up again tomorrow. More wood coming out, you know, that direction. Put some rails up. It's going to extend this direction also and then turn and come around this natural area of the tree. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Train reminding you you can do something, I guarantee you. Have a great day.